my very bestest. I know you're going to do the best, best, best. Too long. You're going to have to sit back for me. Okay. You have to speed anytime you're ready. Thank you. All right, Brendan, so I was so excited to hear that the Mummy franchise was coming back. You were reprising your role. How does it feel to be like that guy that's like the new Indiana Jones in the Mummy franchise? You're like the guy. Um, well, we're back with another Mummy movie. It's been seven years, enough time for me to feel like I really got to do another one of these movies. I had so much fun playing Rick O'Connell. I finally got the call from the studio. I was like, yes! And like the character in the movie, um, I had been feeling a lot like I had to hang up the costume and 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 just like you know I wasn't sure if or not we were gonna make another, make another one of these pictures and, and we are we're back um, in the world of the movie uh, Rick and Evie have become a bit well sedentary in their lifestyle in the bucolic countryside of England and and they're kind of hankering for one last expedition and they just want to admit it to each other um, but then the opportunity arises when we learned that during the time that uh, we saw them last in the second, uh, uh, we learned that during the time since uh, the mummy returns, they've been working for MI5 during the war, and, and now they're off uh, on, a, on, a, on a peace mission or to, to return an artifact to the Shanghai Museum. And uh, uh, of course, everything goes all corkscrewy when uh, they learn that their son, Alex, who's now about 20, hmm, 21, 22, He's um, it's not that he's not been up to no good, but he's 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 not so much a chip off the old block. I think he's a railroad tie in, in a lot of ways because he's being a bit of a blockhead as far as Rick is concerned, and as far as he's concerned, his dad's being a blockhead too, and they're colliding and clashing with each other all the time, you know, like fathers and sons do. And of course, who does it take but mom to walk in and throw a bucket of cold water on both of them and get them to get along? Because guess what? The terracotta warriors of Xi'an are, are reanimated and uh, they're alive. They're going to take over the world, and, and, and the heavy, the mummy, is uh, the, the, the dragon emperor. He's played by Jet Li. Jet Li. Um, he, uh, uh, he has this epic sword battle uh, with Michelle Yeoh, who's the sorceress who cursed him about 2,000 years ago for doing something very naughty. And uh, um, he, he's, of course, you know, like all megalomaniacal despots. He wants to take over the world and, you know, who are you going to call but the O'Connells? And, of course, they find, up, they find themselves in the middle of this, this uh, uh, typical situation for them, which is to uh, um, dispatch the undead uh, with, uh, without, um, uh, well, no, this is all coming out wrong, the, the, to dispatch the undead, um, you know, just like it's another day at the office. I think that's what I meant to say. I just had a can of Red Bull. Forgive me. What am I trying? Do you have a question? I feel like I'm, do I feel like I'm doing it all the I time. Do. I do. <laughs> the movie is just like nonstop action. It's so exciting. I saw it yesterday. It's so much fun. Oh, thanks. And and you did so many stunts in it. And, yeah. And I want to know, like, how was it to do all these stunts? And number two, how did you prepare for all of this hardcore sword fighting? Oh well, uh, you know, you you, you got to do your best. These movies are always. They always were about kind of like burning calories and you know sweating a lot and getting a little banged up every here and there. But you really feel like you earned it. You know, there's something that appeals to the kid in you, like, oh wow, I really took a shot today, or you know, like, wow, I'm, I just wiped out on my bike. I want to see this scar? Like, oh cool. Um, how did you prepare for it? Gosh, uh, hmm, lots of protein and push-ups. Um, that and showing up. Having a sense of humor, um, ready for just about, stay ready for just loose, ready for just about anything. Um, all the stunts, of course stunt teams put things together to make sure that everybody's safe. Um, and then um, you just kind of cross your fingers <laughs> and step in for the stunt guy and do your best. Uh, if something's really treacherous or super dangerous, then you know the stunt guy steps in. It's about creating an image, you know, you want to do that. Um, Movie filmmaking is a, a huge collaboration, and we're we're telling a story. And, and this one is uh, about how a family reunites and becomes a family while they're set in the middle of this epic battle. Um, that is um, the backdrop of the Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. One last question. Now, this is really a family-oriented film as as much as it yeah. is like a huge, you know, action blockbuster. So, what is everyone going to get from seeing it this summer? Why should they come and see? The well, Mummy first and three? foremost, this is this has been one long hot summer. So, if you want to get beat the heat and, and, and come to come to a place where you're going to have a lot of fun, check out check out the Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, because it's got great CGI. Um, it's got fantastic special effects. The set pieces are moved around in a way that that they weren't in the first two. You don't have to be 
you don't have to have seen the first two to come and enjoy this picture. You know, it's not mandatory. It'd be nice if you go back and check them out. Thanks a lot. But I mean, you know, but all the same, this picture is dynamic. It's interesting from um, an archaeological standpoint because it's set in China, uh, an, an archaeologically rich nation, uh, just as Egypt was in the first two. And uh, the discoveries that the O'Connells make are among these guys who are reanimated in a way in, in an epic battle at the end of this picture. They're, they're pit against uh, um, undead good guys in a twist, and as they clash, I, I defy anybody who doesn't like fun not to have a good time. Perfect. Thank you so much. They're trying to get me out of here. I get it.